Pinky, I need to sit down. I have to film a video. You guys, she's literally sitting in my seat right here. I have she's like, this is my spot. You can sit on mommy's lap. You wanna sit with mom? Pink Paper Doll. Hi loves, it's me, your girl Z, and welcome to my channel. All of my social media will be linked in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Hit the bell to be notified every time I upload. Hi dolls, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, you know what to do. Go ahead and click the subscribe button below and become part of the family. My name is Z and I love to do tons of home, lifestyle, and fragrance related content. So if that's something you love or interested in, you're definitely going to want to hit the bell notification to be notified every time I post a new video. So dolls, in today's video, I will be showing you all of my pink purses and bags. This will be all, not all of the purses and bags that I own, but all of the pink purses and bags that are in my purse collection. I want to preface this video by throwing a huge alert out there that this is a non-luxury bag collection. This is not at all designer or luxury bags at all. I don't even think I own a luxury or designer bag, by the way. Um, but I decided to do this video because I love watching purse and bag collection videos, and I noticed that not not many of those videos feature bags that are affordable. I wanted to show you guys that you can find cute affordable bags without having to spend hundreds or th even thousands of dollars on a bag you can still look cute. Um, so I hope you love enjoy this video. I hope this gives you some inspiration. I did post a photo up on Instagram of this purse that I have found at Marshalls which you guys will see in my collection today and I got the strangest comment from someone saying so tell me what's the point of posting a, a purse or a bag that everyone can buy and I was just like huh what bro what are you talking about man you really cannot be that shallow like I just kept thinking to myself the world can really just not be like that shallow to think that you can only post a burst or a bag if it's designer or luxury you don't have to you can post anything you like that you know you enjoy so I just ignored that comment but it got me thinking like why do we only post things to show off like why do we only post things that are super expensive and designer to show off why don't we ever post things that we just like it doesn't matter how much money it costs so I thought you know what F it I don't care I'm gonna show off my pink purse and bag collection video because I love watching videos like this and hopefully it will give some other girls out there who don't have hundreds and thousands of dollars to spend on purses the idea of where they can get cute purses that look kind of designer or that could make a look pop so here we are today okay so the first bag let's just get into it you guys also all of my social media is linked in the description below if you guys are interested in my Instagram and you want to see tons of pink content check me out over there but other than that let's get into the first bag the first bag I have is this bag that I got from dolls kill it's by the brand sugar thrills I think it's their like what is this the week ender I think I can't remember the proper name for it but I will look for it because I believe they do have a few versions of this bag now it's the week ender duffel bag I know that for a fact um, but it's just like pink fur all over it and then it has holographic um, designs on the side and on the handle and silver hardware. This bag is huge you guys. It's pink like fake silk or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I really love this bag because it's huge and if you're going on a trip or you're staying over someone's place for a little while like a weekend or something like that, hence the weekender bag. This bag is perfect for that. I actually got this for Christmas from my sister years ago. I will try to see if I can find a link for it off of Dolls Kill, but I do know the brand is Sugar Thrills if you guys are interested. The next bag I got is actually my current makeup bag, and this is the Betsy Johnson bag. You guys, by the way, I will definitely be doing a close-up of all these bags so you guys can get to see them close up. 
Um, so don't worry about that. But here is this Betsy Johnson bag that I picked up from Ross years ago. I cannot remember how much it was. If I wait, actually I do. It was around $40. If I remember correctly, it was like $39.99 or something like that. But it has a beautiful white bow and like a silver buckle in the middle. It just says XO Betsy and it has like hearts. Um, quilted all over it and I love this bag it's the perfect um, travel makeup bag it fits everything that I need it was just the perfect pink color absolutely obsessed with it I think it has double zippers yep double zippers and you guys even the zipper has um, Betsy Johnson on it the logo I don't know if you can see that and it has like a heart I'll definitely get a close-up for you guys so I know you probably can't see right now but yeah the next bag I have is a tote bag by Betsy Johnson and it's just this light pink tote bag. This is actually really, really old. I've had this for so many years. Like, yeah, even the sides like kind of coming up because I've had it for so long, but it's super cute. And this actually used to be my old work bag. I used to put all of like my work documents and things like that and carry it to work with me. So this, I don't really use it that much anymore because I don't work at that job anymore but yeah it's really pretty it has like this purple kind of mauve toned straps to it and then of course it has this little buckle if you will in the front it's not really a buckle I don't know what it is maybe a nameplate it's like a cream white heart with gold lining and then the heart wears all gold of course you have the traditional Betsy Johnson um, zipper with the heart indention super cute the inside of it however is what really sold me on this bag it is like this satin purple mauve colored material with roses all over it and it says Betsy Johnson XO inside it has two little pockets and then it also has a zipper pocket right there and it also came with this little pouch and it just looks like a plain white pouch but when you open it it has the same fabric inside of it. So cute. I used to be obsessed with this bag. As you guys can see, it's gotten a lot of wear out of it. I don't know if I'll be keeping this to use in the future because I haven't had anything to use it for. I might end up putting this on my Poshmark for super discounted. So if you guys are interested in anything that might possibly be up on Poshmark, I will leave my Poshmark link in the description below. Just in case I do post any of these items, you guys can have a chance at checking them out and seeing if you wanna, if you wanna get one. Let's just stay on the kick of Betsy Johnson. So this is my like current kind of everyday purse. This is quilted Betsy Johnson handbag. I love all of the prints and all of the quilting that she does with her bags. So super cute and unique. There's like tiny little heart details in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. The nameplate is gold and it says Betsy Johnson. It came with this poof ball and I added some hand sanitizer because girl, <laughs> with Miss Rona rolling around to these days. Mm. It's like this bright purple print. I don't know if you guys can see that bright purple print and it has lips all inside of it and it says XO Betsy Johnson XO Betsy. So super cute. It does have two like side pockets and then one zipper pocket as well. Again, I will show you guys a close up of these bags. So don't worry if you can't see it right now, but here's what the strap looks like. Yeah, and I love this bag. This is just the everyday run your errands type bag. If it it's your phone, your wallet, everything that you need to run an errand with, I feel. Oh, and by the way, I got this bag from Ross as well, and this was $40 as well. It was $39.99. I remember that because I was like, oh my God, $30, $40? I have to get it. I'm not really going in any type of order, you guys. I'm just pulling everything that I have here in a pile. Um, the reason one of the reasons why I decided to do this video is because I will be doing like a closet clean out and declutter I will be getting rid of just a lot of things in my life that have accumulated that I just don't use at all But it's just been sitting around So I thought now would be a good time to show you guys some of the stuff I have in my closet Also some of this stuff will possibly be on my Poshmark So I thought this was a good opportunity as well to like kind of go through everything Okay, you guys, this is the bag that got that nasty comment on Instagram. <laughs> oh, 
like, isn't she cute? Like, why? Why does she get a nasty comment? I don't understand it. Okay, to be honest with you guys, most of you guys are sweethearts and they said sweet, beautiful things. Um, but whoever this random person was just said something really rude and mean for no reason. But I just don't understand what the heck that person was talking about because this bag is so cute. I actually got this from Marshalls. I don't even know what the brand is on this. It's probably no brand. Yeah, this is like a non-name brand bag, but it's just like this little jelly clutch and it's super cute. It has these white pearls on it. And at first I was a little worried because I'm like, how am I going to hold this? These pearls are going to break. But if you guys look closely at the bottom, I don't know if you can see that. Um, but there's two like metal wires in there, like thick metal wires. So this is not going to break easily. You even to wear out for like a brunch date or something like that. I love her. I think she's cute and I will continue to post all of the things that I like, no matter if they're thousands of dollars or free. I'm going to post it if I like it. So that was $8 if I did not say so at Marshall's. So very affordable. The next bag that I got, I have to be honest with you guys, I don't really like this bag and I might end up putting it on Poshmark. I got it on Shein and I got it to take like outfit pictures with. So it was super inexpensive. It was $3, but it's just this little, I believe it was $3 if I remember correctly. I think I even hauled this last year when I did my online Shein haul or Black Friday haul because I think that's when I bought this during my Black Friday haul. And I think I talked about this. But at the bottom, it's just really flimsy, you guys. And that's one of the things I just don't like. I like when the bottoms are hard um, and there's a little bit more stability to them so I could put like a lot more things inside of it. I don't know why, but I just don't like that loose bottom. But it's just like this fake crocodile pink, like muted rose toned pink color. And I thought it was so cute and chic. And then the handle is like a, a faux fur. You can tell that this is very, very cheaply made. I mean, it was $3, so who cares? But it is a really cute bag. It has these gold chains that can turn it into a shoulder bag. So that's really cute. I do think that this is really cute for like um, outfits and like an outfit picture and things like that. But to actually use this bag and wear it out, I just don't think that I would because it's really flimsy and I don't think it could hold or support the things that I would want to put in it. Like, I think my phone would be too heavy for this bag and the strap would break. Like, but I guess if you were just taking some cash with you out to the club or to like a little meetup brunch little thingy, um, keep it light. I wouldn't put my phone in there, but yeah. I think it could work for that and then of course for pictures. It, she inside has tons of affordable purses you guys. Like I said, not all of them are the best of quality but they're cute. Okay, the next bag that I have is also I believe from either TJ Maxx or Ross. I want to say Ross. And it is this Puma quilted makeup bag. It's like a travel bag. Oh, sorry, you guys. I got a little bit of makeup on it because this used to be my travel makeup bag. And so a little bit of makeup is on it. So I do have to wash that off. But right now, I think I just keep like um, costume makeup in here. Yeah, like costume jewels. I have like fairy ears in here. I have contacts vampire teeth so I just keep all of those like makeup items that I would use for Halloween or dress up party in here right now but yeah this was pretty inexpensive I cannot remember how much it cost but I want to say it was like it was under ten dollars I think it was like eight dollars or something like that but I do think that I've hauled that bag before but yeah all of the bags here that you guys are gonna see was under a hundred dollars so just know that so next is this Juicy Couture Fanny Pack. I absolutely love this. When I found this, I almost just like crapped my pants. I found this at Marshalls, I want to say. Um, and it's so cute. It has like the gold Juicy logo there. This is how you open it. So cute. I haven't worn it yet. That's why it still has the paper inside of it. But I thought this would be really cute for the spring. I love wearing cute fanny packs, you guys. To have my arms free, I love that. I have a 
my trusty old black fanny pack that I've had for so long that I also got from Shein Sai. It's actually broken. I need to buy a new one. But I just wear it across my body this way and it's just so much easier. You, your hands are free to move around and do things. So I love fanny packs. But yeah, you guys, I picked this up from Marshalls. And I want to say that this was around $15 if I remember correctly. Here's the buckle. And I like that they have like a little heart here. This is juicy on the buckle. Do you guys see that? So cute. But yeah, I think let's keep going with the fanny pack since we're already started on the fanny pack. So the next fanny pack I have is from BB. So cute. It has like this crocodile material I love this I still haven't taken the plastic off again another piece that I haven't worn yet I got this last year around the summertime and I just did not get around to wearing it um, I just really haven't gone out of the house much you guys which I wish that I could but I am deadly afraid of getting sick not gonna lie to you guys so that's why I haven't really gone out but it's so cute all of the gold hardware there's a little buckles on the side that's so adorable and then it looks like a little belt in the back so you can wear it as a belt you could probably even hook this through your belt through your pants belt loops or something i don't know but super cute it has the zipper in the front and it also has the zipper at the back you guys and i feel like this is a really big bag for a fanny pack like you could fit a lot of stuff like i could fit my phone, I could probably fit my wallet, quite a few things. And even inside of the bag, there's like another zipper pocket. So super inexpensive, you guys. Again, I think I paid about $15 for this. And I think, actually, did I get this from Burlington? I can't remember, but it's either Marshalls, Burlington, or TJ Maxx. I got it from one of those stores. Okay, so the next fanny pack that I have, I, when I saw this, I was like, oh my God. I need to have that. I believe this was like 18, was it 18 or 20? Like 18 or 20 bucks, I can't remember. Um, let me see, I can't remember. But I got it in a size small and it was originally $58. Here's the original Michael Kors tag. If you guys can see that, that's the original Michael Kors tag. It's $58, I got this cute Michael Kors fanny pack, so adorable. It has the gold nameplate. This is Michael Kors, and it has like this brown tan color, which I love. I feel like it can match with more things. And then it just has that strip of pink right down the middle. I am obsessed with the way this look. It is kind of giving me Louis Vuitton vibes a little bit, is it? Yeah, it's giving me Louis Vuitton vibes a little bit, I feel like. But nonetheless, it's super cute. It has the MK print. Just very, very cute and dainty. Um, but again, you guys, I believe I got this for $18 or $20. Next is like a random bag that I only use to go to the gym. And it is this fanny pack. It's a Reebok fanny pack. It's pink. I got this from Marshalls. And if I remember correctly, this was $7.99. To wear it to the gym I wanted a tote that I could take with me to the farmers market because we have a farmers market that happens every Saturday right around the corner from my house and I was like hmm I wish I had a tote and I could go there and just like shop some fresh fruit and just be a little bit more sustainable and look sustainable and feel sustainable girl I'm not I'm not sustainable I try to be but I'm not but I figured let me try to look it you know like dress the part and maybe I'll get there type of thing anyways I found this cute tote on where did I get this kit oh Aliexpress and I believe it was like ten dollars but it's just like a corduroy tote it has all these lines down it super big actually I didn't expect it to be this big but I feel like I could fit quite a few fruits and vegetables and things like that in there there is this little patch that says you need this one, take care of laundry. I think that's maybe the designer, I don't know. It does also have a little zipper pocket inside if you wanna put like your wallet or some money for the farmer's markets. And the tag just says forever sunny on it. Honestly, you guys, it's probably like a forever 21 brand item because you guys know that these companies get this stuff from China super super cheap 
and then they sell it. So this looks like something that was probably like made for Forever 21. Next bag I'm going to show you was $12. The one I just showed you is actually only $3, so sorry about that. But here's the next bag. This was $12.49 on AliExpress. And I thought it was going to be bigger than this. I was really looking for that nice, furry, big tote trend that everybody's been wearing around. Um, so I thought that's what I was getting, but I actually ended up getting a smaller one. But I kept it because I actually like it. It's a very nice, muted, wearable pink. Um, what does that mean, wearable pink? Like, I, I don't even know what that means. Um, but inside of it is like this faux leather and it has the gold snaps. I really like this because I feel like you could put like makeup or stuff inside of here like lip gloss and if anything spilled out you could just wipe out the bag and you wouldn't have to worry about popping it in the washing machine which is super cool and it's just cute y'all like look at this she is cute for $12 I don't know I thought she was cute and yeah I haven't styled her yet but I definitely will if you guys want to see how I style her make sure you're following me on you know what Instagram okay love so I have a few clutches and wallets to show you guys and I also have some shoulder bags that are hanging up in my dressing room area that I'll have to go grab to show you guys I forgot to bring those over but let's go ahead and get into the little clutches the first one I have is this juicy couture little wallet I got this little juicy couture wallet from Ross and I believe if I remember correctly it was $4.99 here's what the inside of it looks like super cute a little zipper and it has a little keychain, so if you want to put it on your keys, you can do that as well. I just think this is so cute, and it's like the perfect size wallet. You can put like your cards in, you can put cash in. It's just perfect. Love that, and I love the big gold juicy logo. You guys, if you do follow me on Instagram, you've already seen this. You've probably seen this wallet so many different times because I keep showing it because I love it. Next is this little wallet slash clutch thing. I don't know what to call it, a wallet or a clutch. I call it a clutch because it's kind of like a wristlet because you can put it on your wrist. Um, there are a double slots here, so tons of space for like cards and cash and all that. Here's what it looks like inside. I haven't used this either yet, you guys, so more to come more to come um that's because i'm using stuff that i already have to be honest with you guys i wear a lot of black outfits so i tend to go for black bags when i go out but i'm trying to switch up my wardrobe and get my color palettes more to like the pink tones and things like that so i just gotta clean some things out and declutter and we'll be all good but it's definitely giving me like the fake like tory birch vibes um it's definitely giving me that with this little symbol here i really do like it i think it's really cute and i paid 7.99 for this guy and then the next thing is also from the same line i can't believe i don't know i don't have like the name of it i took the tag off so i know i did use this bag once it's another little wristlet plain on the back i love the quilted v design in the front it's actually kind of reminding me of like victoria's secret a little bit with that but again the little symbol here is reminding me of tori birch for sure and i believe i picked this one up for 5.99 if i'm not mistaken okay so you guys that was everything i had pulled out of my closet to declutter from here i'm going to run into my room my room i'm going to run into my dressing room area and grab those other bags off of my door hang on one second hey guys there's more bags that i didn't realize that i had that i had to pull um i think you guys have already seen this up on my instagram recently but this is the trina turk train case I got this from Marshalls and it was a $12.99. I think it's so cute. I love the little lapel like, I don't know what you call this, but it's like dips. I love that. It looks so pretty and cute and girly. It is a, a double zipper. And let's see what it looks like inside. I have used this, you guys, so pardon me if it's a little dirty inside, but it is a bright pink color inside. 
bam wow that is just so cute so gorgeous um yeah i do love this i do feel like it's the perfect size as well to travel like a little train case for like the weekend or something like that perfect size the next bag that i have is a shoulder bag again from betsy johnson i got this a while ago i cannot remember from where i want no yes i remember it was from ross but i cannot remember how much it costs you guys but i believe it was around like 20 bucks it has like this quilted bow on the back like and i was like why isn't this the front of the purse this is actually the back of the purse this is the front of the purse it's just quilted lines with the silver nameplate that says betsy johnson on it with her two hearts and the traditional betsy zipper with the heart indention the heart cutout the straps are like part chain and then they go off into a pink full leather a pleather strap so yeah i think that's pretty cute i do again wish that the nameplate was on this side and that the bow was the front the indention of the bow is the front and not the back but it's fine i can easily just wear it backwards <laughs> There is one pocket inside and then there's a zipper and this is what the inside of it looks like. Okay, I have another jelly clutch here, you guys, with gold hardware. It also has a gold strap that can come out and become a shoulder bag. Um, but I love this. This is just so classy and classic. It is the jelly purse material. I believe that I got this from She Inside. I cannot remember the price. Don't quote me on any of this. But I promise you guys, everything here is under $100, girl. Like, because I have not ever spent over a hundred dollars on a bag so just know that this is probably i want to say was probably like 10 bucks from marshall's or i have to look it up i have to see where it's from but i think i got it from she inside so super cute okay so i have another purse that i got off of she inside and i definitely just got this for photos i definitely had no idea where like where i was gonna go with this i was just like oh my god that'll be so cute for like photos and stuff like that. This was also, I believe, around $5 off of Shein side, and it's just this faux fur purse. Again, you can tell it's not great quality, but girl, I'm not going hiking with the dang on purse. I'm just gonna wear it to look cute. Like as long as my phone can fit in here and my wallet can fit in here, I am all good, okay? So I do feel like it is sturdy enough for that. It does not have a super sturdy bottom, but I do feel like it's sturdier than the other one that I showed you guys from Shein Side that was flimsy earlier. And I love like this gold buckle here. It's just so cute. And then you open it and that's inside of it it's all black inside just super cute and it's dainty and i feel like it's a classic piece that you could wear to dress up in the outfit i did make a knot in the strap because i is it's just too long for me like your girl is like i like my bags to be a little bit higher but yeah you guys that's what it looks like super cute i love it now if i was gonna wear this like this across like a crossbody then i would unhook the knot but for right now i just kind of wear it as a shoulder bag and i like it if i did not say so that was five dollars from she inside okay guys i'm sorry about this i'm trying to give you guys information and help you out tell you where everything is from and how much it is but i got a lot of this stuff a while ago and i can't remember but i do remember i got this bag from marshall's last year for the spring and if i can remember correctly this bag was $24.99 i cannot remember the brand and of course i cut the tag out um so this is what it looks like on the outside i think the inside yeah, it still has stuffing in it because I have not worn this yet. I got this to wear for Easter last year, but I didn't really do anything for Easter, so I didn't end up using it. Let me see if the brand name's on here. Crossy? Cassie? Crossy? It looks like C-R-O... Crossy. Crossy. C-R-O-S-S-I -S -S is the little tag that's imprinted in there it does have a zipper pouch you guys and the snaps there's two snaps right there if you guys are curious you can take this part out the shoulder strap out and just wear it as a wrist clutch which is super cute that's how i planned on wearing it i don't really plan on wearing it 
this way. I feel like it's just super awkward to wear it this way. I don't know. I just feel like it would be super awkward to wear it this way. I feel like the purse is kind of designed to be like this. I don't know. But I would probably wear it like like this um but it's super cute again $24.99 and I love like all of the detail on it it's just kind of simple but it's definitely giving me a spring Easter vibes kind of reminds me of an Easter egg with that pattern on it really really pretty all the gold hardware really nice and sharp love this bag can't wait to try to wear it this year hopefully i'll have something to do for easter this year um, so the last two bags i have are actually from dolls kill i think i've hauled them last year for black friday but i will show them to you again i got this bag i forget what this bag is called but they do have a new version of this bag this year it's not red i think it's purple i want to say it's a purple bag but it's the same design so definitely check out dolls kill if you guys want to get this purse because I did see it it came out for Valentine's Day they had different colors of it and I think it's called like the corset clutch or something like that I can't remember but I love the way it like laces up and like the details right here all of those rhinestones there that's so pretty here's the side of it it's just the perfect like small bag size I feel so the brand is sugar thrills as you can see their tags inside of there there's a zipper clutch a zipper pouch and then there's another pouch on the side here so I think it's quite enough space I can fit my phone in my wallet which is mainly all that kind of freaking matters right super cute I can't wait to style this with something and actually wear it out but yeah love that bag and I can't remember how much that bag was you guys but like I said I'll try and see if I can find the links to this stuff and link it if I can find it but it is on Dolls Kill, and I want to say that it was under $50. Um, I think it was like $40, like $39 something. Um, and then the last bag that I have is this beaded heart purse, you guys. You've seen this on my Instagram. I've shown it to you guys. So many of you commented and asked where it was from. It is from Dolls Kill. It's by the brand Sugar Thrills. So check it out if you guys are interested. It's super cute, super affordable. It's just like the perfect fashion bag. Like if you want to make a statement for Valentine's Day, this is like the perfect bag. I just love it. Like all of the clear crystal beading. It's just really pretty. It's giving me everything, you guys. And I love it. I'm just popping in here real quick because I actually forgot to show you guys a purse that I recently purchased. I can't believe I forgot about it. I literally just got it in the mail yesterday. So I'm going to show you guys. I got this Victoria's Secret clutch. I got this at the semi-annual sale. It's so cute, you guys. It's like a satin material with like this fake leather lining on the handle so cute i love the v detailing in the quilt it's so cute and the bottom is faux leather as well and the inside is just a snap is there a pocket there's no pocket but that's just the inside of it pink and it's like the perfect pretty pink silky color I'm just obsessed with it I absolutely love this purse I think it's perfect for any like cute date night outfit not just a date night but any type of trendy outfit or like brunch or anything like that it's just really really cute you guys this was at Victoria's Secret it was originally $24.99 and I got it for $8 you guys $8 Okay loves, that was it. That was my entire pink bag slash purse collection. Non-luxury. I hope you loves enjoyed this video. I hope this inspired you to just work with what you have. If you can't afford those expensive luxury bags, you can definitely find some cute nice bags that are affordable that you can style with your outfits. And yeah, if you guys do end up picking up any of these bags, be sure to tag me on any photos that you have on Instagram. I love seeing those photos. And that's it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this inspired you in some way. And I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you loves in the next video. Oh, God. My arms are not shaved, so I can't do my normal bye thing. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.
And today's shout out goes to Armani Morales, Viola Nicastro, and Ellie. Thank you girlies so much for being a part of this family and commenting on my videos. I love you girls so much and I can't wait to see you in the next video.